Let's keep that applause going for Christine Cordero. Give it up, give it up, give it up. It was the green onions that did it. There was no way I could have known. I could feel it get stuck somewhere between my gut and my throat, then feel it rise out through my eyes. Three months later, and the grief kept coming up like a bad surprise, each time fresh like the green onions floating in my fur. That spicy and tangy smell, and I am back in my childhood kitchen. My nana is cooking. She was always cooking. Chicken broth on the stove, big bowl of noodles on the counter, little bowls of green onions, fried garlic, sliced boiled eggs, shredded chicken. We called it mommy soup. My nanai lived with her hands. She made adobo, baby blankets, recital dresses, grew giant roses and calamansi trees. We used to joke around, would I get nanai's green thumb or my mom's black thumb of death? <laughs> the one that would kill plants even if she just watered them. How were they even mother and daughter, we'd laugh. The big sloppy tears started coming. I shouldn't have ordered that soup. What a shitty way to start a first date. <laughs> <sighs> Pittsburgh, no H, California. End of the BART line. Steel City in the armpit of the Delta. It's where I'm from. That's right. OK, hey, hey, Pittsburgh. Um, from the front lawn of my cousin Janice's house on East 8th, just past Mariner Park, I can see the oil tanks at the old pg e power plant, painted pale yellow like the rolling hills, trying to blend. I point them out to my mom. See, that's where they want to put them. 10 million gallons of crude and tar sands oil per day through our little Pittsburgh. First circle of impact, my cousin Janice's, St. Peter Martyr K-8, through the bomb is bean dip in Pittsburgh at New Mecca. Second circle, my cousin Katz and Auntie Jay's over at Pittsburgh where I won my first spelling bee, close to Pitt High, Pirates, Ride or Die. Third circle, my brother Ariel's with Linz and the girls. Arwen Bunches is three and baby Merida's one. Very close to my childhood home, circles of history and love. Best case scenario if the oil comes, more inhalers, more bloody noses on the playground, more cancers from small spills and continual pollution. Worst case, explosion at the plant or on one of the trains carrying the oil, moving bombs on rail. Like Quebec, circles of destruction in every direction. 47 bodies buried, fire and smoke. I can see the orange and the black night. I could smell the smoke in my nostrils, feel the oily soil and water through my fingers. Power plants, refineries, rail lines, pipelines, a massive system of weeds all over this country. I worry that we haven't been very good gardeners. Green thumb that my nana was, I can hear her voice like a whip. Hoy! My hands freeze over the weeds. You don't just cut the tops. You have to pull them from the roots, all of them, or they will just grow back. I get back to Pittsburgh to fight the oil plant, see my nieces, watch a Niners game with the cousins. Then sometimes I slowly cruise by back and forth like a creepy stalker person <laughs> by the old house because we had to short sail it. My nanae's roses that are out front, I could see them pruned down, clear of any weeds. Now I'm trying to garden here in Oakland, moving from a big Victorian full of strangers, three floors between me and any ground, to go live with friends on their tiny little piece of land. Learn new soil, plant new memories in community. There are some things in this world that shouldn't and can never ever really be bought or short sold. Last fall, my nana I couldn't cook or garden anymore. All I do is sleep, she said. I don't want any more tubes, no dialysis. They have to just let me go. So we did. And then she did. Now, my nana speaks through the land. 
The truth is, I am somewhere between Nanai's green thumb and my mom's black thumb. I will sink these brown fingers deep into the soil, breathe, tend, listen. Grandma, hey, back in church on Sunday morning.